Right, here's my video on the static caliper and brake disc for the Tamiya TTO2 chassis. There's a few things to consider with these uh, calipers. Due to most Tamiya wheels having rather large supports on the back, there may not be clearance for the caliper on the back. But a lot of aftermarket wheels without the supports on the rear. There's plenty of clearance. And there's a set of HPI TE37s. Right, each kit will have four mounting brackets. Four brake discs. These will come pre-painted. And four calipers and cells. These won't come painted, so you can paint them whichever colour you want to fit your chassis. Now for the fitting instructions. So you have your hub. The bracket simply slides over. Pushes down until it's sat level with the hub. And you simply tighten this bolt up to clamp it in place. Don't need to over tighten them because you will strip the thread. Then fit your pin as normal. Brake this and sits on there. You've got the recess in the back. Once that's in place, Simply sits on there. You then fit the support screws. Once again, these are 3D printed parts, you don't need to over tighten them because there's no load on them, so you'll just strip the threads if you do. There you go, there's the full assembler. As I say, they do come unpainted, so you can match them to your design or livery, whatever you've got on your car. There is a couple of examples of the different colours that you could do. Yellow, white, blue. There's red, there's purple, green, silver, orange, pink, a bronzy gold, black, and a luminous orange. Here's a couple of videos of some of the cars I've fitted them to.
that's how you can run these, but you do run the risk of causing damage if anything gets stuck in between the caliper and the disc. So I will say, run at your own risk. These are predominantly made for shelf cleaning, so if you want to add that extra scale detail to your shelf clean, then have a look on eBay. There will be more things coming soon. There will be more things coming, including my intercooled kits and brackets for the Tamiya TTO1 and TTO2. They are universal. And also my uh, custom exhausts, which these can be magnet mounted. It's also plenty of adjustment depending on how far you want it to stick out or the angle. You can either shoe glue them in place or, as I've done, shoe glue the magnet on the back and on the inside of the bracket. also a 5mm hole in the back if you wanted to run that easy.